New feature number one is the new Content Aware Fill. That's the one that everyone's going crazy over because Content Aware Fill will take an image, make a, you make a selection, and it will assume or try to figure out what the image would have been had you, if you delete the image using the surrounding area. New feature number two is one of my favorites is actually complex selections. What this will allow me to do is, for the first time in Photoshop, make a selection that's both hard and soft, like a person. You know, they have uh, hair and they have, of course, hard edges around their body. With the edge detection feature inside of Photoshop, I can now make those selections with one tool, fast and easy. Number three, I would probably have to say, is going to be the Puppet Warp tool. That's a, that's a feature that it's kind of fun to show, and it's one of those things that, again, without having to do a lot of cloning and tweaking, I can just bend an image or twist an image and turn an image without having to duplicate the layers and cut it out and then cut the individual pieces out. So if you think of like a puppet or a marionette, to be able to bend the arm of someone very easily and fluidly inside of Photoshop. Number four, I would probably say, is Reposé. Reposé allows me to create 3D objects from text or our objects inside of a photo and extrude them and bend them and twist them in a three-dimensional three fashion and create real 3D, 3D that can be put inside of a Photoshop image or on a video. Number five, oh boy, let's see. I would say the paint engine, the mixer brush. Being able to, for the first time in Photoshop, blend colors together naturally with a paintbrush, just like you would as a real painter, just like we did with our fingers in elementary school.